we're gonna need a bigger hamster wheel. Let's talk about that. Good mythical morning. Now, I wouldn't exactly call us an authority on pets. I mean, we did own a tarantula for one day, used him in a video, and then took him back to PetSmart, but that's just the way we roll, because this is the internet, and Link is very scared of the tarantula. <laughs> uh, yeah. But that doesn't matter, because you ask us questions, we're still gonna go on the internet and figure out answers for you, so you can feel like we've enriched your lives. Emilia Valdez asked us, what are some unusual pets that are legal to have? Legal means you can't have it, right? You can have them, legal. All right, so here we go. We got some uh, answers to your question, Emilia. Uh, first, right off the bat, it is legal to have a capybara. It's not legal in every place though, right? The, the, subject to your local ordinances, please don't right. buy one. Check with your local authorities first. But a capybara would be awesome to have based on my research. This is basically a giant hamster the size of a dog. Have, they have a young kid right, a, right on a, look at that hamster. You can it's ride got, it? It's got a kid on the back Do of it. Do they sell saddles? I'm not gonna endorse that either. And I don't know if that, it's the largest rodent uh, in South America, but this thing can be in your house. Gianthamster.com is a wealth of information about the capybara. Really? Uh, you need to have a pool because they wanna swim around in a pool. Mm -hmm. uh, and I read on their site, they mostly poop in the water. So do I. But That's what's in a toilet. But the special poop that they eat, they eat it directly as it comes out of them on land, not in the water. They don't wait? <laughs> They don't at least wait for it to dry? They chew their cud, but to get the bacteria they need in order to process the cud, they have to eat their own poop. So they mow your grass by eating grass, and then they clean up the, their own poop by eating it. Mm. I'm that's, passing that's on the great. capybara. But how about the wallaroo? This is a hybrid animal science fiction of a kangaroo <laughs> and a wallaby. So but it's, it's a real animal. It's real, yeah, it's science fact. A little bit bigger than a wallaby and a little bit smaller than a kangaroo. They live about 15 to 20 years and they are very playful and affectionate. I think you can put boxing gloves on one and teach it to box, I've heard about that. But the most interesting thing I are found they, out- Are they born with a shirt? Uh, no, but you can get a shirt for them. They are very happy in shirts. <laughs> they do not like pants though because they like to be able to swing the legs around. Uh, the the thing I found out about Wallaroos that really uh, piqued my interest was the fact that Vanilla Ice, Woo. rapper extraordinaire, he owned one named Bucky the Buckaroo. So does it come with a Vanilla Ice? No, you can't get, you can probably get a van Vanilla Ice cassette, you know, with your with local a Wallaroo. store. And, uh, but it was, uh, the companion animal with Bucky the Buckaroo was a goat named Poncho and they both escaped so it comes from with a goat. his home at one point. Oh really, they, they he broke out, out. He found out about it when he saw Bucky on the news. Run around. Here's to you, Vanilla Ice. Uh, okay, here's to you, Vanilla Ice. <laughs> um, I had another one and I lost my place. Here it is, Kinkajou. Uh, now these things are small, cute, nocturnal animals from Central South America, but they can befriend your entire family. Do they ask permission? They just, it, they instinctively become a, a bond forms and they're just so cute and they've got like opposable thumbs and isn't that nice? They're just like me, they have an opposable thumb. Uh, can they play the piano? No, uh, they can occasionally be aggressive. Paris Hilton's uh, kinkajou baby love <laughs> bit her and um, her publicist had to take her to the emergency room at 3 a.m. and they, uh, they gave her a tetanus shot. And they put they put, had a like, rusty mouth? put a salve on it. And they sent her back home. That was in it. So uh, don't a kinkajou. You need lots of fruits that you're gonna have to slice every day. Oh, no problem. And you also need a publicist to take you to the emergency. <laughs> okay. All right. How about a hedgehog? This is one of those that I think would be a great uh, conversation starter. If you want to go to the park with a hedgehog, you will be in a relationship when you leave the park. You know, with what? A person. <laughs> oh, I didn't know if you would attract more hedgehogs. <laughs> I'm in a relationship with a couple of hedgehogs. Yeah, what do you think about what the, the, the ladies think about that? What is that in your hand? It's a it's my hedgehog, baby. <laughs> <laughs> Why would that? Because they're so cute. These are the cutest animals on earth, and uh, they are you know they're a little prickly, and when they're grouchy, they can maybe they don't they're not really going to hurt you. It's like getting a bunch of toothpicks in your hand and stuff like that. But most it's of just the time, just like a woman, when they're calm, they're just not. It's just nice and flat. Now, but here's to your disappointment, uh, they're not that smart. 
Here's to your disappointment <laughs> and vanilla ice. You'll be in a relationship with someone that you met at the park, but you will not be able to train the hedgehog to like go through your own little course that you set up in memory of Sonic the Hedgehog or in honor. He's not is dead. He, is he passed on? <laughs> He's not Poor dead. guy. I didn't, rea I and didn't realize you can, it. You can name him Sonic and potentially get one of those groomers to like spray that non-toxic blue paint on him. You name that thing Sonic, his eyes will roll. He's like, oh, I heard that one yeah, before. Yeah, it's just like, give me a break. At least call me Tails. Uh, Fennec Fox, for your consideration. Small nocturnal fox with huge ears. Look at this thing. It's just the cutest thing ever, and it lives up to 14 years. They're probably even cute when they're dead. <laughs> oh, yeah, well, I it, mean, it'd look, be great taxidermized. I'm pretty sure that's what we've got back there. Snickle Dooper. <laughs> Snickle Dooper. <laughs> I, I give I it like a Swedish dumper. <laughs> well, I named him. I can pronounce it any way sure, I want. Sure, whatever you want. Um, they're very active. You have to keep these things leashed when you go out in public. Leashed. If it gets out of the leash, the park. That thing is gone forever. Really? Snickle dong. <laughs> oh. <laughs> I meant to say snickle. Gone. Gone. <laughs> but which would have made no sense either. <laughs> Well, <laughs> Travis D. Sears, moving on to another question from Travis D. Sears. <laughs> no, I wonder what the D stands for. <laughs> he says, how to, make, <laughs> how to make my leg less attractive? And Travis, I'm First of all, that's not a question. Yeah, what well, kind of is. How do I make my leg less attractive? I'll go ahead and answer the question okay. for you. Uh, finish the question. I think you mean when a dog uh, likes to mount your leg, thinks it might be another dog. I get it. Uh, it's a very uncomfortable social situation when it happens at the park. The relationship that you just started might end quickly. Um, you start a relationship with the <laughs> hedgehog and then you end it with your dog. Somebody else's on the dog. leg. Okay, the first thing you got to do, well, really, every step that I have is related to the fact that you need to make your leg look less like a dog. <laughs> uh, the first thing, if you have a very hairy leg, you need to shave it. Like I a, do. Like a swimmer. He won't think it's a. It won't think it's a dog. Do not wear khakis. Lots of dogs are brown. Do not wear corduroy because corduroy looks like fur. Sometimes. Sometimes. <laughs> Do not wear fur pants. That's an obvious one. Okay. Yeah. Yeah. I and, won't do uh, that anymore. If, in a worst case scenario, you can get a tattoo of a vacuum cleaner on your leg. Because dogs are afraid of vacuum cleaners. I, Yes. Yeah, yeah. Well, they're afraid of the sound search, of a vacuum cleaner. Search dog and vacuum cleaner on YouTube and see what happens. But it's the sound. You have to make a sound <laughs> to accompany. You can make a sound. The uh, the tattoo. So it's you not really. You know the... what day it is? It's Thursday. And Thursday <laughs> means mail. Thank you, Jen. You can you can take that away. I'm bringing in this, y'all. <laughs> Dear Red and Link, good mythical morning, long time watcher, first time writing, blah, 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 blah. What, whoa, <laughs> what? <laughs> you want me to read it? I won't demean no, no, this no. guy. It says blah, blah, blah. blah. Oh, oh, it says that. <laughs> yeah. Okay, it's not like you just didn't care. First time writing, blah, 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 blah. That's what Megan wrote. Okay, uh, that's better. Megan Wolf from Phoenix, Arizona. Let's keep this spinning. I've watched the show every day for almost a year now and it's been fantastic. I've never ceased to be entertained by your antics and stories. I love your backstory as friends and I hope you continue your mythicality for years to come. I love binge watching old episodes and seasons and watching for some time, I've noticed something that's been bothering me for a while. Mm -hmm. You have a serious lack of mythical blindfold. Okay. <laughs> I like how she put that. Those bandanas, far from mythical. Oh, wow. So I wanted to help you out. Okay. I've gotten in the habit of making eye masks for people. It's a good habit. I call it a hobby. <laughs> She's got an addiction to making eye masks for people. I went with extra padding, oh, I can a mythical it. green, mythical white, and an epic bare fur soft backing of manliness to I keep your eyes comfy. I won't put this comfy. on my leg. I hand sewed them and approximate, approximated the elastic to the size of your heads. I hope they work out. You guessed Thank very you for well. everything. Keep the myths alive. Megan Wolf, Phoenix, Arizona. Okay. Megan, I gotta say, I really appreciate the fit of this. I also appreciate the fact that you gave me blonde eyebrows, which is not a reality. They're black, but I've always wanted blonde eyebrows because people ask me all the time, oh, so you dye your hair, huh? Because the uh, the brows don't match the carrot top. Gracious me. If I could see you right now, I'd punch you in the face. <laughs> what is that inside of your... 
What? Don't, oh, it's don't, like don't a push hard. My eyeballs a, are still underneath. It's it. a gleam. Right. There's a gleam in my uh, glasses. These are pretty good. It's very, very comfortable. Very I, calming. I think I'm going to take these on planes. I we I would like them with actual eyes. <laughs> so. I'd love these. I'd love some with eyes too. Okay, since you're addicted, are we in a position to uh, you're request addicted to this, Megan? If you want to make some more with eyes, we'll wear those too. But no, you know what? Don't feel obligated. Thanks for liking and commenting on this video. You know what time it is. Hi, my name is Jacob from Kansas City. I made my mom addicted to Good Mythical Morning. Yeah. And it's time to spin the <laughs> wheel of mythicality. Mom? Thank you, Megan, for sending along the blindfolds. You get a signed Good Mythical Morning poster available for everyone else at redlink.com slash store. And click through to Good Mythical Morning where we're going to eat these cooked and pickled cockles directly from the UK kingdom. Link is a grumpy lunch lady. <laughs> Next. Um, square pizza, please. No. All we have today are cockles. <laughs> Smoked and pickled shellfish cockles. Can you put them on? Hold out your hand. Can you put them on a square pizza? I can put them on your square face. Uh, why are you always like this? You should. You should. <laughs> you, sh you should eat the cockles. <laughs> Serving sides. One jar. It's hard. Hold out your hand and grab a cockle. <laughs> oh. Oh. I mean, it looks like a little alien like fetus or something. Ooh. Oh. 